but from your perspective, like, are you working on an album? Or are you just like, oh yeah, see, there's a couple of things that are gonna be coming out that, you know, I got this mixtape coming out, probably another one after that, and then the album. But yeah, I signed for an album. That's just gonna be coming out soon. Everything's pretty much done, dog. Mm. It's all done. It's just a matter of how the label wants to go about marketing and dropping and all that shit, you know? For sure. Who'd you sign to? I signed to Now Forever. Okay. It's a, a, our Santa Ana music group. Okay. They're under Alamo. Oh, really? Yeah. And so you're pretty stoked on that so far as I've been kind of, because you, you, like when you're talking about your manager and shit, you said that you really like the, the way that you're able to sort of just focus on the rapping and he kind of gets you the business deals and the Hell shows yeah. and all that kind of shit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just do my thing, dog. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. I could definitely see you being, you know, one of the, the leaders in this world as it keeps going. But see, then I, then it, okay, I don't want to be stuck in that Chicano rap category, mm. but then when I hear shit like, like when Lefty's like, oh, I'm the best Chicano rapper. This it makes you want to stand on your Then shirt. I'm like, nah, you got me <laughs> f***ed up, fool, you know? Mm. Straight up. Definitely. I feel like the one thing I would say, though, is that you and him without even being necessarily super cool, can help each other like crazy because the fans really will gravitate towards that sense of competition. But I think you guys are also in a, a situation where you don't necessarily have to make it some crazy, violent type vibe. It could just be you guys both getting on a song. Like, See, not, just getting on a song is going to make everybody stop and listen and, and pay attention. Yeah, hell yeah. You know? And I'm I'm all for that. But then, and then just when I'm like, you know what? that i'm gonna get on i'm gonna hit that foot we're gonna get on track and then the next day i see that fool on a podcast like oh celebrity boxing who would you fight with <laughs> rowdy racks like what i'll beat you up homie <laughs> this motherfucker you know what i mean yeah but but at the same time i know that fool he gets on podcast and just says like mm. all kinds of shit on me so it's just like ah, whatever dog you know yeah definitely but uh, yeah, I think everybody out there should definitely tune in because I feel like you're definitely probably one of the biggest talents coming out of Southern California yeah, yeah. right now, man. I got uh, they should just, man just dropped a couple singles. I got that lifestyle with with the homie Jamori. Mm. That shit's hot. I'm about to drop another single with G Perico. Oh, that's dope. That shit's gonna be hard. How'd you tap in with him? Uh, through my managers and shit. That they, they actually asked me like, who would you want to work with? You know, if you ha could pick anybody, you know. Mm. And I was like, man, it sucks that Nip passed away because. Mm. Definitely was looking forward to trying to get on the track with him, you know what I mean? Because he spits that real shit like I do, I mean, mm. you know? But if I had to pick right now, I'd probably pick G Perico because that's who I bump. Like, I bump music that I can relate to, you know what I mean? Even though he's a crip and I'm a Southsider, he's talking about shit that I'm into, you know what I mean? Mm. So, boom, within two weeks, that shit was done. They go, what? Well, say less. They got it. They made it happen for me, and I was just like, hell yeah, like, really excited about it jumped on the track did my thing he did his thing that shit's hard you huh. know that's just gonna be coming out it's just gonna be hard got a bunch of the, uh other features coming up we're gonna try to lock in sugar free i'm gonna try to get oh, a couple shit. of other west coast legends to to really f with me you know what i mean because i could rap with them i could hang you know what i mean that's dope yeah, because uh, G Perico, I think that he's like the first L.A. street rapper that I ever interviewed, which is, is kind of right? crazy. Yeah, like 2017 or something like that. Like, it was just, that's kind of wild. That fool's hard. Like, I fuck with that fool's music. But he's got that West Coast, that gangster shit, fool. That's what I'm spitting, mm -hmm. you feel me? But, I mean, honestly, it's kind of, in terms of him getting as big as he could possibly get, it's kind of like a similar challenge with you. It's like you could be a dope West Coast rapper, but how do you kind of rise above that and pop outside of that little world? You See, know? When I met him, when we did the video, he pulled up to my spot. Nothing but my homies, my family. You know what I mean? Deep. He pulled up by himself. Mm. Hopped out, chilled. Even after the video, still kicked it with us right there like for a cool minute. You know what I mean? It's just real motherfuckers, though. If you're a real motherfucker, Grove, if you're a real nigga and you're really about what you're about, you don't have nothing to prove to nobody. You don't gotta come and act like, oh, f you know what I mean. You gotta act all super hard, or f you know, say exactly where you're from or so. You ain't gotta be like that, dog. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers know where you're from. You got it blasted all over you. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just be you. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers click like that. You know what I mean? So when I was chopping it up with him, like, what's up? How long you been rapping for? He's like, I've been rapping for like twenty something years. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Like, what? For real? He's like, yeah. I'm like, Matt, I wouldn't even have thought because he just started blowing up like, what, seven, eight years? I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? But 
That, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, if I interviewed him seven years ago, that means it took him 13 years of grinding before even, I mean, probably did interviews before that, but exactly. like even got Which to that is, level. But you know? see, the thing is, what I respect about him is that he stayed true to himself, homie. He didn't go try to do some dumb shit on Instagram so he could blow up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He just grinded and kept his, kept his shit, you know, focused on his music, making his shit quality music. And eventually he got to where he's popping. You know what I mean? He did that shit the right way. And I, and I, with that that's yeah. why that's why even though like you know there's certain ones my homies like fool you need to go fucking diss that fool lefty and fucking so you can start blow nah fool f- that dog you know mm-hmm. what i mean i'm as long as you're moving like this you're going in the right direction homie you know All what right. i mean and once that's if i start going downwards then i'm gonna be like okay what do i gotta do to you know what do i gotta change or what right now i'm moving upwards there ain't a, I feel no uh, need to change anything. You know what I mean? Why change up my program if I'm going in the right direction? No, I respect you standing on that shit and not just wanting to be for clout or whatever. Because I did an interview with this uh, this dude, Rainwater, who was like Mo 3's manager from Dallas. And he mentioned to me, and it kind of fucked me up because I've been thinking about it ever since. But he mentioned that when you look at what cities are considered popping music-wise in America on some like street rap shit, it's almost exclusively the cities that have a bunch of killing and they have big, high-profile beefs between rappers, those are basically the cities that you would acknowledge are, like, popping or they, like, get attention and shit like that. Like, beefing is the easiest possible way for you to get attention because it just happens naturally. You know, like, like literally anyone could make a song, any street rapper, whatever, could make a song about some guy who died on the other side of town, and it doesn't matter if you or your homies had anything to do with it, but if you make a song saying, ha ha, your homie got killed on this side of town, your video is going to do like 10 to 100 times as many views as all your other videos. Not you, but yeah, just anybody. Yeah, crazy, yeah. I know. And that's fucked up. And that's like, I really respect anybody who will have that opportunity right in front of them where you know that if you drop the lefty diss track tomorrow, that'll probably be your biggest song. But where does that push you? Where is that? What, what does that say about the long term direction of your career? And what does that say about me if we're not beefing like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're not beefing like that, it's like that's fake, homie. That one thing about me, dog, I don't give a f- what none of the comments say, or you know, I, I, like, oh, he's a fake Sureño because he says, nigga, homie, motherfuckers know me, dog. I'm a real motherfucker, dog. I, I got four prison terms under my belt. It's nothing to brag about. It's just part of my lifestyle homie part of the life that i've lived part of the life that i still that i'm still living even though i'm trying to do something different it's just part of my life homie you know mm-hmm. what i mean and if i ain't beefing it with you what the fuck i look like doing a diss track you know what i mean that's why when when they brought up that celebrity boxing shit it's like okay first of all we don't i don't we don't do that shit homie for everybody to see you know mm-hmm. what i mean if if we got an issue with or you know we need to get something out of the way we're gonna go handle that shit nobody's gonna be allowed to watch or can mm. record and then nah homie we don't get down like that that's not the way that's not the way we get down straight up you know what i mean so it's like it kind of surprised me and he's all like oh rowdy racks or whack run honey i'm like what like what the fuck you mean homie you know what i mean but and then it's like i can't just oh fight you just for a celebrity boxing match like if we if we're gonna fight if we have an issue nigga it's gonna be t- like you can't just rap beef with me mm somebody diss me it's gonna be on a crack and fool you know what i mean like and then another on another tip it's like you man bro nobody fools don't want to beef it with me dog Mm. straight up this shit gonna get real you know what i mean and and even if it's rapping like i'll tear you apart on the mic homie Mm. (laughs) like if i make a diss track about somebody i'm on a clown on that shit Mm. yeah i'm not gonna lie like lefty when i went and listened to his music i was impressed because I feel like he's somebody who, like, realistically, he would be viral as fuck, even if the music was ass. But I feel like if he's going to do battle with you, he's really going to have to bring his A game because you're you're really spitting. Yeah, no. and he's he's only been out for a little while. I feel like you would definitely probably have to bring a different level of rapping out of him. Nah, yeah, I slaughter him. Huh? <laughs> nah, but but I would like, man, if if circumstances were different, I wouldn't mind. I would actually enjoy being in the booth with that fool and, and you know helping i'm fucking you know because when i'm in the booth with other artists even other artists ha- help me like you know we we just level we're vibing you know what i mean we, he's spinning this and i'm telling him you should say it like this or mm-hmm. just you know what i mean like i definitely could could 
we could both improve on a lot of shit, you know what I mean, together. If you guys could agree to basically like do battle on a song together, even if you're not together, even if you just mail them the verse or whatever, and like there's somebody in between, like the producer or whoever, who could kind of like help put it together, that would be the illest shit. That would be so good for rap in general, slash like your side of the, the rap world. Like that would be, I feel like that would definitely be like one of the best things that could happen. 